Hi, I wanted to create a short video to show how to save a file and then submit it using an assignment link. And not only is this in response to a question from someone in our class, but it also serves as a model of how to make just a quick video to help students with anything they're struggling with. So at any time, you can go into Collaborate, you can create a session, and you can create a video that you can share with students right in your Blackboard shell. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over to a little icon that says share content, and I'm gonna click on share my screen, share application or screen. Once I click on that, it'll ask me if there's a specific application that I wanna share, or if I just wanna share my whole screen. So I just go to entire screen, makes it a little easier. Then you're gonna see this little tiling effect that sometimes alarms people but basically that's just Blackboard's way of transitioning from what you're showing to the new application or screen that you wanna show. So then um, now you can see I'm in the Blackboard shell. I'm where it says Collaborate Ultra because I'm doing a session here, how to submit a file. So the file in question is in Learning Modules. So if I click on Learning Modules, and I go to our course orientation, I can see that in module assignments, there is an assignment link. So I usually tell my students that assignment links are noted by this icon right here with a pencil, a ruler, and a piece of graph paper. Whenever you see that, if you click on the words right next to it, and words underlined often indicate that there's a link there, whether you're online and it's some kind of hyperlink, which we talked about in the questions asked and answered section, or it's within your course. So hyperlinks can go somewhere outside your course. They can go somewhere inside your course. In this case, this is what we call an assignment link. So here's the file that we wanna work with. That's that create um, statement of understanding. And then here's where we're gonna wanna turn it in. So the first thing we wanna do is open up that file. So I'm working on a laptop that's a PC, not a Mac. So for me, I go right to Word because that's the only word processing program I have. I know for some of you, you're working in other types of computers and other types of word processing. Someone mentioned pages. So if that's true, then you can still work with the document here. You just have to be able to save it as a Word document or a PDF to turn it in. So when I go down through here and fill out the document with all my information, as I'm sure you've done, you know, I'm ready. So what I first need to do is just save the file. Sometimes it can be tricky to remember where you've saved a file. So you always want to go to save as and then have a place specifically for the documents that you're using for a certain purpose. So in this case, I will put it in my academy folder, make sure it's saving as a document. Here I have the TOS create statement of understanding spring 2020. You might want to put your last name in the file. So I'm just doing this as an example. And then you hit save. That way, I'll know where to find my document. So again, if you're working in some other word processing program, there should be a file save as or download option where you can um, save it as Word or save it as a PDF. And if you don't have Word on your machine, then we're going to want to talk about that because everybody working for or attending school at Harper has um, the ability to get those Office products on up to five machines. So Word, PowerPoint, Excel, et cetera. All right, so we've saved it. We can close it. Whoops, this is something else I was working on. Um, now we're gonna go back to this page where we see the Statement of Understanding assignment link. So we're gonna click on it. And I think that might be one place that people are getting lost if they haven't used assignment links before. It's just knowing that those words underlined next to that icon are an assignment link, okay? And then when we come in here, you should see the due date, how many points it's worth, that information about the assignment again. If you keep scrolling down, um, 
There is an opportunity for text submission if you want to write a note. Usually people don't, don't need to do that there. Or comments here if you want to write a comment to your instructor. Again, not necessary to do, but you're welcome to do it. What you're looking for is right here in this big box with the dotted line where it says attach files. You're going to want to browse your computer. Now this is important that we remembered where we saved it. So I can go back to documents. I can go back to Academy, and I remember that it had TOS in the file name, so I can pull it up more quickly. So I found my file, and I've selected it, and I can hit open. There it is. If I realized I found the wrong file, I can just say do not attach, but I see that that is the correct file. And then I can just say submit. Okay. Uh, since I am in my instructor mode, I can't really save it because I'm not a student in the class, but that would be the um, that would be the protocol for how to do that. Okay. So that's what you need to know about assignment links. Again, denoted by this icon here. A lot of times it's bolded and underlined to indicate that that is a uh, link or an assignment link. And you just click on there and then you scroll down to assignment submission look where it says attach files hit browse my computer and then you can find your file and you can hit submit i've had to help students do this a lot of times typically it has to do with them saving the file somewhere but they're not sure where it is so it's just important to do a save as and make sure you're aware of where you've saved that file so now let's say I want to go back um, to talking to you. Then I can go to stop sharing. Okay, so I had to click on that collaborate up at the top where, where I saw that purple collaborate um, word up at the top to go back to my collaborate session. And there was a little white button in the upper right hand corner of my screen that said stop sharing. So I did that and now I'm back. So since that's all I know about as far as questions for now, that's what I'll post for today. But we will continue to post on things that people might be wondering about and then talk about how this can apply to our online teaching. I think oftentimes if students are having trouble figuring out how to do something, just making a short video and even sharing that with the whole class can be helpful. And that way those that haven't asked but are still having the same problem can get help as well. So I hope it's going well so far, and I will talk to you soon.